Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to After Hour Gaming League. This is JW Schmo from Team Raytheon. We are casting the semi-finals of the After Hour Gaming League B League. Thank you for following us today. We've got a fantastic match here going between Twitch and Raytheon. This game is tied at 1-1. And the, the gentlemen that are going to be deciding who wins that tiebreaker are going to be introduced right now in the bottom right hand corner playing for Twitch is the Blue Terran Fish Sticks. And in the upper left hand corner playing for Raytheon as the Red Zerg is Shadarki. So ladies and gentlemen, some background here on the gameplay thus far. Golf made a very decisive first game win over Raytheon's Atlas when Atlas made an attempt at a cannon rush and it just could not be executed to perfection against what is really, quite frankly, Twitch's best player, one of the best players in the entire B-League uh, circuit. And as a follow-up to that, Boobs for Team Raytheon played a fantastic match against DJ Wheat, both playing as Zerg in what turned out to be a great description of how to counter the mutilisk play of another Zerg player. So, ladies and gentlemen, we ha now have a Zerg vs. Terran matchup on a fairly large map. We should see some excessive play. We do see the natural going down for Shadarki for Team Raytheon. A wise play here against a very competent uh, Terran player here from Twitch. Uh, Fish Sticks, uh, for some history, Fish Sticks from Team Twitch was able to defeat Shadarki from Team Raytheon in the first matchup in the regular season. There was some <clears throat> swarm host play here by Shadarki in that first matchup that resulted in just uh, uh, awkward play here for Team Raytheon. Really what happened was is, uh, they were out of position and uh, Fishstick took some fantastic advantage of that um, tactical flaw in, in the uh, game plan. And we'll see what happens here in this match, whether Fishsticks can catch some uh, units out of position from Shadarki, or if Shadarki is able to learn from that experience and really engage fish sticks one on one and, and counter those Marines and, and uh, Reapers. So, we do see some scouting here going on by fish sticks and a little bit of like a hey, hey, guess what? I'm going to troll you. So, fish sticks, man, with just a little bit of taunting, a little bit of like hey, man, I I'm building a new base. It's happening. You can't stop it. Ooh. And uh, we do see an SCV here building a bunker. Uh, taking out, oh my goodness, a drone. Two drones are falling. Another drone. It does look like Shadarki might have to deal with some problems early on. It does look like another Reaper is falling. Some really good play here by Fish Sticks. Uh, really using that Reaper here in the bunker, trying to um, just just really shut down that expansion. Uh, I, I don't know if it's going to happen, though. Uh, it does look like he is going to salvage the bunker. Uh, that is going to allow him to just be annoying, really, quite frankly, just be really annoying. Uh, Shadarki very wisely canceling that... Um, sunken colony right there and so it does look like fish sticks is using that opportunity to to grab a factory and uh, also build his uh, natural expansion shadarki here sending in some zerglings uh, it does look like he is going to make an attempt here at the main he is going to get a fantastic surround here on that reaper that reaper has nowhere to go nothing to do he is out for the count and we do see these zerglings coming up they are going to park themselves right in front of the base Shadarki, I'm going to tell you to move those Zerglings. Are you going to move them? Thank you. All right, so we do see an engagement here coming in from Shadarki. He is going to engage that wall. 
That fish sticks is so elegantly placed uh, on his ramp. It does like look like two Marines are going to start engaging Stark. He's going to have to make a decision here whether to, whether it's worth it to keep attacking that wall or if he should just bring it back and uh, let let the uh, engagement happen in a little bit more equal terrain. It does look like, and I am going to throw a unit count up here, he does want to get that one SCV down, make it a little bit more equivalent, and we do see a Hellion on the field. This is very good here for DJ. Uh, excuse me, four fish sticks. It does look like that one unit falls, and are we going to get the surround? We do get a surround here by Shadarki. Another surround by Shadarki. He does have four Zerglings in uh, fish stick space. He is attacking. It does look like an SCG falls, but uh, not a huge amount going on there. One Zergling still able to, to survive. Just kind of like uh, nibble, 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 nibble. And uh, it does look like Fish Dick is going to find him and take out that Zergling. So about um, equivalent play here. It does look like that uh, Shadarki a little bit behind here on uh, work. Uh, excuse me, units killed. It does look like they are about equal on workers killed. Uh, we do see two um, two aliens coming up. Uh, some good play there by uh, our friend Fish Sticks. Uh, good job here making those drones earn <laughs> earn their money that day. Uh, it does look like all that all those minerals are going to kind of like fly around a little bit. Uh, fish sticks just floating around trying to really uh, patrol that that entrance point. It does look like ooh some of these drones are going to get caught completely off guard. Uh, man, Shadarki doing a pretty decent job there of just making sure that nothing too terrible happens. Uh, we do see two more two more of these uh, Hellions coming up. So we got three Hellions. One did get destroyed there. Uh, from a unit count standpoint, it does look like Starkey is a wee bit ahead here on the drone count. Uh, Fish Sticks doing a very wise uh, maneuver there, making sure that third hasn't been taken by Shadarki. Uh, it does look like a surround that does happen from those Zerglings. Very good, very good. Uh, and uh, a fish sticks uh, deciding to retreat right then and there. Uh, he still has three Hellions. Let's look at uh, units killed. It does look like it is still in favor of fish sticks, even though he did lose a Hellion there. Uh, from a, a number of uh, units lost, resources wise, it does actually favor uh, Shadarki here. So. Even though the number of units lost, it favors uh, fish sticks. Uh, the cost, the amount of minerals lost, was uh, substantially favoring Shadarki. So, and, and that's reflected here in just the unit or in the uh, income. All right, so we do see some scouting here going on by our friend fish sticks again, just making sure that that third isn't going to uh, be taken too early. And we never want the um, we never want our Zerg opponent to get too greedy, greedy here. It does look like that watchtower there is being uh, checked. And Fish Sticks, again, very wise. Uh, fantastically wise here in that he is making sure that there isn't anything coming in uh, to get that third right down here. But just the timing not exactly right. A surround does happen. And that... Uh, Hellion is going to fall. All right, so we do see some uh, Widow Mines coming out here for uh, Fish Sticks. Uh, and, and again, just looking at unit count, uh, uh, just a little bit ahead. A little bit, a little bit, a tiny bit ahead here for Shadarki. It does look like um, Fish Sticks is recognized the simple fact that uh, he needs to get his uh, unit count up here for mining. So he's got 20 on his <clears throat> natural, 12 on his uh, main. It does look like... Excuse me, Shadarki is a little bit better equipped with 16 on his natural and uh, 21 on his main. Uh, we do see a drop. You gotta love the Terran drops here coming from Fish Sticks. It does look like uh, he is going to be making an attempt at dropping at that third. I do believe that Shadarki did see that. It does. Uh, the question then depends on whether he actually was able to engage. Uh, bad placement here by the medevac. It doesn't look like that medevac is going to lose itself to the score crawler. So, depending on who you're rooting for, that was either bad luck here for fish sticks or fantastic uh, strategic placement there for Shadarki. Uh, 
uh, just really adding to the number of units lost there. Units killed now slowly creeping back to uh, Shadaraki's favor on top of the units lost count, now almost 2-1. to one. So really fish sticks while he has been trying to really pressure on this attack here, still just a little bit behind in just fundamental cost efficiency. I think he's really shooting for these little mines to take a chunk out of that army, hoping that an engagement will, will result in some dead zerglings. I mean, we would love to see that in the sense that the graphics would be fantastic, but uh, from a just purely uh, win-loss ratio, again, depending on who you're rooting for, very bad. All right, so we do see a split. It looks like we're going to be separating some drops here. It looks like an attempt here by fish sticks to engage. Uh, I think possibly one of these, yes, it does look like one of the medevacs is going to be seen. The second one does look like it's going to be seen here by these overlords. So I'm not sure exactly how effective that's going to be here against uh, this engagement. Uh, these Zerglings are going to come in and they are going to find nothing on that map, that third expansion. But lo and behold, oh man. I mean, really, quite frankly, worst timing for those rocks to go down here for fish sticks. And now, it does look like uh, Shadarki has completely bypassed, completely bypassed uh, the Widow Mine. So a huge number of units completely lost um, for fish sticks. And again, this is his natural being engaged. Just a plethora of roaches engaging, really just taking out the entire uh, base's uh, functionality. It does look like he is going to, Fish Dix is going to have to engage here whether he wants to or not. He's not lifting up his uh, command center equipment like he just does now. He's going to be losing some more supply depots here. I, I'm not sure that. Um, Shadarki is going to be able to uh, finish this off. It does look like those Widow Mines not being very effective. <laughs> well, if you look at the amount of blood, but uh, no, not very effective. It does look like uh, Fish Sticks in a little bit of an awkward position. He just doesn't have the minerals. He doesn't have the unit count. Uh, if we look at units killed, workers killed, significantly favoring Shadarki. Looking at production, it does look like he's trying to get some balings. Oh my goodness, look at these balings. Look, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how you defeat this as a Terran. Just the, the sheer number, really, quite frankly. I, I'm, I'm not sure. It does look like Fish Sticks is trying to get his third... He's trying to stay on the same page here as um, as Shadarki, but um, again, it does look like Shadarki is aware of these widow mines. He is aware that there's two of them. He doesn't even bother uh, destroying them. He just gets their timeout, and then, oh, it's just a wave of green, ladies and gentlemen, a wave of green right into that natural, all of those SCVs falling, oh my goodness, just a huge amount, workers killed, we're at 44 to 6, I'm not sure there's much more here for Fish Sticks to do other than GG, his natural has just fallen, uh, it does look like he's got some marines down, but even those are really just not able to engage effectively, he is being pushed back into his main base. Uh, a barracks now being engaged. It does look like he's got a siege tank. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the GG. So with 47 workers killed to 6 workers killed, Shadarki has made the deciding win. Raytheon is up 2-1. to one. We are going in to game 4 between Raytheon and Twitch. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. This is JW Schmo from Team Raytheon. Stay tuned for the next match.